I'm going to keep this quick since I'm still at work, but this is a customer service tip and a way to avoid wasting your time. And it's something that over the past five years uh, has happened occasionally to me, and sometimes the newer people here get, uh, get tricked by it. Uh, it's when somebody asks and actually agrees to a service and then says, uh, oh, and while you're in there, can you do X? And, you know, sometimes it's actually a reasonable request. Like, oh, if you're in there, already in there, can you see if there's dust or anything in the fan or this and that and the other? And I always do my due diligence when I'm working on these machines. As you can see from the keyboard video, I'm ultrasonicing uh, machines that have had spill damage on the keyboard. Uh, very often, even if I'm not actually getting paid extra for it. I want every machine that comes through here to be better as a result of it being here in even other ways than what it is I'm fixing directly. If I'm in there uh, replacing a screen, I'm more than happy to tighten a hinge for somebody if it's not a machine where it's a lot of extra work. But a lot of the times people go, oh, by the way, while you're in there, uh, can you do this where this is something that's like totally separate, but just since they said, can you just, the word just is key here because they're, they're making it sound like it's absolutely no work, no effort, no part replacement or no anything. Like, can you just make this thing work again? And good example. This person was totally okay with paying up to 170 or 200 if the problem was screen related on a particular machine. And literally, as he's walking out the door, and he agreed if it's uh, to the price, he's like, "Oh, while you're in there, could you check the track that for me?" Now, luckily, I have a very, very smart technician who was there that day. So he put in the notes, you know, tell person screen uh, replaced is fine, but yeah, trackpad would need replacing. Like, I can't just make a trackpad work while I'm in there. Like, I need to fucking replace it so that it works if you've if you got water on it. And he had, now, we never actually replaced the screen because we knew that this would have been a complete and utter waste of time. And he winds up coming in with no notice, demanding to pick it up immediately because he doesn't want to pay any extra money for the trackpad in addition to the screen. Now, had we actually replaced the screen because we agreed to it and thought that, you know, oh, he actually meant, can you check it while I'm in there versus if you can't do extra work for free, I don't want to do business with you, uh, we would, I would have wasted 20 or 40 minutes of my time putting a new part in there and then taking it out in the middle of the store while there were, you know, three or four of the customers here because he demanded it back immediately. But since I realized this from experience that he's essentially saying, oh, he's devaluing the craft by saying, oh, while you're in there, can you just do this where, you know, he's just kind of playing it down and making it sound like it's nothing uh, so that I'll, I'll do it for free and I didn't do shit with it, I wound up not wasting my time and saving myself about 40 minutes. And this happens about two or three times a week here where somebody will say, can you just do X where it's like, oh yeah, while you're doing that, can you just do an advanced data recovery without charging me extra money? Like, can you just check if my, uh, if the machine will actually work? Uh, with, with Office while you're in there because let's say they're getting it repaired because they need to use it as a typewriter and they have a pirated version of Office on there. You know, very often people will actually decline the repair if I refuse to give them the cracked version of Office and to which I, you know, I'll usually tell them to go fuck themselves. And you know, the list goes on and on. But the point is you should always be on the lookout in this business for people who are going to waste your time. You shouldn't be mean. You shouldn't see every single person as, are you going to waste my time or are you going to give you money? Because that will give you a very, very cynical viewpoint. But you should always be on the lookout for people who are going to waste your time. Because at my store, I have a lot of people who are not going to waste my time. And my priority, my responsibility, is to them not one asshole. So, hopefully you learned something and have a good day.